Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, y'all, and thank you for coming to the channel. We're going to do a quick, fast, and a hurry visit because we're trying to figure out what can you more are doing hanging with Robin Dixon. Ashley Darby and Giselle Bryant. Now, I don't know if the three ladies were here in town or they were down there in Potomac. I don't know. Okay. But, you know, what's her name? Uh, Robin supposedly is marrying her ex again. Why? I do not know because he is a known cheater, allegedly. And she has found herself to be off there in the woods as well. Okay, but that's neither here nor there. That's not really what we're concerned about, really. Not really. What we're concerned about is why Kenya is fraternizing with them. Can you, girl? Are you trying to say you producing something that we can't see coming to fruition right now? Or are you planning on jumping ship? To go down in and be a part of the Potomac Housewives. Girl, have you found a man down there? What's going on? What's going on? We want to know, hon. We want to know. Because when you side eyeing up there with Giselle Bryant, it ain't nothing good. It ain't nothing good that's going to come out of this situation. Because we know Giselle Bryant tried to come here. Calling herself hooking back up with her ex, which would have been perfect for her to come on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. But that surely dissolved up into nothing. And I hear he might be losing his status at New Birth Baptist Church. Okay? He might be going somewhere. Mm-hmm. Just one of them things. Like Monica said, it's just one of them days. That a girl goes through when she's angry inside. Don't want to take it out on you. Yes, honey. She said, I just want to be alone. Think I did you wrong. Don't take it personal. Baby, baby, baby. Don't take it personal. Yes, honey. Ashley Darby. I think she's getting a divorce as well. Now, who's she going to hook up with? She don't got two kids by Michael, and he's in the wind. Make it make sense, people. This is called housewives of whatever state. This ain't talking about divorce wives. Housewives. I mean, we need y'all to be married. We need to see a little bit of that, how you raise your family, and how you go get your money. But I tell you, the housewives franchise is just it's crumbling, y'all. It's crumbling. I can't see it being around uh let's say you say 10 years from now i can't see it i can't see it and they're still trying to bring or have brought back dallas but in dallas texas the dallas uh housewives i'm like no you shouldn't have resurrected that show either all right but they still got beverly hills still got orange county you know but i'm still like whoa this is a hot mess we ain't got nothing. We ain't got nothing. Do you hear me, people? We ain't got nothing. They're trying to clean house at the Real Housewives of Atlanta, which that does need some upkeep. We need to revamp that one. Get some more fresh people in that really know what reality star power gives. Because I was had hopes. I had high hopes for, um, uh, what is her name? I got dog. Sonya. Then she messed around let her husband get too far into the mix. Instead of him keeping his ass out of women's business, he he tried to get some showtime, like Peter Thomas. And you know, that's why we're looking at him like a bitch. Yep. Mm-hmm. This is the housewives show. Not the house husbands. 
They come on when we need them to come on. And then when we need them to disappear, we want them gone. We don't want them making comments. Okay? Unless the person comes for them. Then they can speak their mind. But don't speak it all the way where you're embarrassing the woman. Okay? A woman can embarrass another woman. But we don't want a man embarrassing another woman. Not on the show. That's not good. That's not a good look. That's not a good fit. And that's the way it is. Now... Those three were hanging out along with Ashley Darby. They were having cocktails. Kenya was getting drunk again. And I am kind of questioning Kenya in this drunk thing because she got drunk or drunk too much uh, when they was having a little thing at Sheree House, a sleepover. And then she's kind of sort of a little tipsy at the soiree that these three <coughs> excuse me, women had had for Kenya. Like I said, I don't know if she invited them to Atlanta or they bought, uh, invited her to Potomac. Don't really know how which way it went. I just know those four women were together. We know Josiah Bryan is divorced. Kenya's trying to get a divorce. We know Ashley's going through a divorce. We know one, meaning Aaron Robin Dixon, she been divorced and trying to get married to the same punk. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. If it didn't work the first couple of times, it ain't going to work the, the three, four latter times, okay? It just ain't going to work, Robin. But we know you're like Cynthia. You're buying your time. You're trying to find a storyline that'll mix, that'll mesh well, and so you can continue to be on the show. But, girl, you're going to find another storyline because ain't nobody believing that. Nope. And it seems like the children almost grown up while you still here playing with their daddy. So... Mm -hmm. I'm just really looking at the pictures and trying to formulate a good scenario of why those four women would be together. I don't know. Are they feeling her out, meaning Kenya, to bring her on the Potomac group? Or is Kenya feeling one of them out to join her on the group? Because maybe she's hearing stuff about Ken ain't going to be that. She just ain't saying shit. You know? Who knows? We never know from day to day with these reality shows. But I can say that reunion that the Real Housewives of Atlanta had put together, those dresses are horrendous. They are horrible. This is almost like the inception of when they all came together to form the Real Housewives of Atlanta. How they had to show their different gowns and stuff. Because they were really into gowns. Oh, and trying to be dressed up. Which I never really understood. The whole concept of them finishing a season. And then they have to come like they're going to the prom or something. In these outlandish type of apparels. Okay. I'm like, y'all didn't look that sharp. When y'all was calling yourselves everyday taping for the show that airs every Sunday. But then you want to have a big reunion and you want to come out looking all plush and plush like you're finna go to somebody's wedding or you're in a, a wedding yourself or prom time but i can tell you the dresses were horrible and i don't know where they get this uh red and peach or a uh, burnt not burnt orange but a lighter orange scene from i didn't like them I usually don't care too much for them, but they be classy looking. This is like they had, this is like a start off show. You have the flimsy type of outfits going on. And nothing really looks well done. And I don't know if they were going for the tropical scene or what. But Marlo didn't look good in hers. Kenya didn't look good in hers. Sheree looked just like she wanted to show all her breasts. Her breasts could have just been totally hanging out. But it was terrible. I mean, even Sonya. I don't know. They were pretty much just, what can I say? Um, I don't know. They just trying to make the clothes come alive. And they were just dead on sight. How you call it? Dead on arrival. That's how the clothes uh, or their costumes were. Just dead, dead on a rob. Like they had got a new uh, designer, and we were giving them, you know, what do you call it, a touch uh, of bringing them in. I 
I like it. I mean, Sheree's breast was just everywhere, looking like Kenya was in a red and pink sequence thing, and Sandra was in some pink, light pink and fuchsia pink. And I don't know. To me, maybe what's her name? Drew had a better dress on. But again, I, like I said, they were just like prom dresses. I don't know what they were doing. But it just is what it is, okay? Oh, boy, that was a hot mess. But that's all I have for this particular video, guys. I was trying to understand why is Kenya hanging out with these two women plus Ashley Darby. Hmm. It's going to be worrying me until I can kind of figure it out. But I don't know if anybody jumped the ship. Because, I, like I said, I don't think you, we're going to have housewives in 10 more years. I think the whole franchise would have, I don't know, looped into something else. But, yeah, if you were riding it from the inception to up to now, you got a good show. You should have a good piece of money in your bank. But, um... Seems like they're asking their players to give them a little bit more rusticity. And I don't know how long Kenya Moore can go with it. Because she really is not there for all the drama that she once held uh, sacredly in her stash of props she wants to throw out. She's a mother now. You can tell she thinks about a lot of things before she interacts and doing something for the negative. Uh, she's been a solid player. Along with Candy. For the longest. But. If the producers. Feel like. They have analyzed things. From a financial standpoint. It doesn't look good. To still have a high paying. Person or persons. On the cast. If they're not delivering them. The ratings that they need that everyone is happy with so like i said it, you know if candy want to stay on the show so be it defer her dreams of producing and this that and the third let the people just throw you out okay if that's where you want to go with it that's cool that's great can you you know you're gonna be on chocolate block probably next year next season because uh you have not a husband for us to uh, talk about because we don't care about Mark and, and the comments and goings on why he won't settle to us. He wasn't really a husband to begin with because it seemed like he treated you like shit before y'all had, well, hell, we didn't even know about Mark until your ass got married and then we got introduced to him by default. And then baby girl Brooklyn came along and he was just too through with you, Kenya. He was just too through with you. He was like, let me just take care of my baby. Because I ain't, I ain't standing what this woman talking about. But then come to find out, he won't have for your house through your settlement. And that is just bullshit. Really just bullshit. So it's not where a woman need to take care of a man. It's a man need to take care of a woman. At least that's where I've always been raised. And, and, and you know, and it, it, God made man first. So I'm like, come on now. Step up and be the man that you know you need to be. But sometimes in our world today, we have more men acting like women these days than the opposite. But that's all I got for this particular video, guys. It was just quick, fast, and in a hurry. We're just trying to figure out where can you go on with all these meeting with the housewives from a different franchise. We're just trying to, you know, get our hands or our heads wrapped around it. Y'all know. Y'all heard anything, let me know. So we can come back and talk about it again. But it just seems to be a little fishy. That's all I'm saying. Just a little fish. I mean, she can have friends outside of the show that she likes to get down with. But Kenya has been surrounding herself with other franchise people. You remember? I know she got on the uh, Ultimate Girls trip. Um, and she met friends over there because she was hanging or went to a wedding of uh, Teresa Gudis, the Gaidis. You know, she, that's not her last name now, but she was a part of that. So she's making friends outside the show. So I wouldn't be surprised that she leave on her own recognizances as well. When she thinks she's got something else really lined up that's going to be a little bit more lucrative than what she's getting on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. You know, I said it, and I said it times and times before. 
probably paying their people. Because if they didn't pay them, you think Kenya Moore would be still with them? Do you think Candy Burris would still be with them? Or the people that want to get back on the show? Okay? They know how lucrative these women are getting paid to do absolutely nothing but start mess. Stir up the pot. Get some drama going. Get some memberships up. Get some watcher and viewers up. <sighs> but that's all I got for this video, guys. Y'all think he gay? I think he gay. I think he down low. I think he is. He's a little fruity patootie. That's what I think. That's why we can never get them back together, even if he wanted to. You know what I'm saying? Because I think he used to... Was it him? Or was that... No, that was Ashley Darby. I thought he was messing with one. He, Ashley Darby's husband he had hit it on... Uh, uh, touched on one of these uh, players. Was it Robin Yao? What's um, what's the name? Michael Darby. Was he hitting on him? Cause I'm kind of confused. I remember he was hitting on somebody. So put that down in the chat section. Let me know. I know I ain't going crazy. I know it was something going on with some man or some husband on the show touching another husband. Mm hmm. But that's all I got, y'all. I ain't got no more, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.